Hello, I'm the artist Michael Arzotos, and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, you came to the right place. Okay, first let me introduce myself. I'm Michael Arzotos. Okay, I'm the artist, and um, now there are other Michael Zotoses out there. To my surprise, I, I came to find that out. There's an attorney named Michael Zotos somewhere. There's a, 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 a guy who is a musician, a Michael F. Zotos. These people are not me. Okay, I'm Michael R. Zotos. I live on in Suffolk County, Long Island, New York, for a long time. Okay, and what I do is I create what I call spontaneous entities. They are they began as as quickly generated um, marker works, a form of expression rather than a form of illustration, which I then uh, turn into a form of illustration. Now it's an endeavor. It's not just pieces nailed to a wall someplace or, or on display in a gallery, okay? These are pieces of artwork that I put out uh, in public, outside usually, uh, for a lot of people to see. Many thousands of people have seen them, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And uh, I've been putting them usually out on eastern Long Island, in the Hamptons, and then on the north fork of eastern Long Island, since uh, 2013, okay? I started getting press coverage in 2014, and I've been now in 10 newspapers to, that I know of, that I have copies of, okay? Uh, dance papers, um, the East End Beacon, which covers the north and south forks of Eastern Long Island, the Southampton Press, the East Hampton Press, um, the, um, on the North Fork there was the Riverhead Times Review and the Suffolk Times Review okay and other small papers and uh, people like them they like them a lot I've been told by many people that they and it seems to be a family thing will drive around looking for the pieces uh, pieces do go missing okay there are these smaller ones like so okay that I put outside on telephone poles and uh, I put six dozen of them out and, and when I first and then I got my first newspaper coverage and then I started putting larger pieces like yay big okay bigger than me and some are even like eight or ten feet tall out in business locations on display groupings of them and this got a lot of coverage and a lot of interest okay I've been in 40 different business locations through the years and with displays and like Duck Walk Vineyard I had maybe a dozen pieces there for uh, maybe almost three years I believe um, there's a place called Gas Hampton. It's a, it's a, a, a gas station on the highway in, in, in Southampton. They've been there now for five years, like six big pieces. And I change them out, okay, when they, when they start to wear. Uh, there was a place called Will Floor U. It's a linoleum company and carpeting in Hampton Bays. For three years, but I take them in during the winter, I had a nice display there that got a lot of uh, interest, okay. What I would seek is a really good front lawn, a business front lawn. I don't really care what's going on in there, what the make and model of the business is, whether it's a car dealership or a, a pumpkin farm. I had him at Hank's Pumpkin Town um, a few years, and there are thousands of people who go there on a daily basis through the pumpkin picking season, and that's in uh, uh, Watermill, I suppose. Well, anyway, the bottom line is, eventually, I got into a few of the, the, the local villages, okay, displays in their village parks. West Hampton Beach Village and uh, Port Jefferson Village, which is not out east, it's more on the, the uh, north uh, area of Suffolk County, but um, up by the Long Island Sound. But it's a very artsy um, neighborhood, okay. People come across on the ferry from Bridgeport, Connecticut. and. Uh, I had them right in their park for a whole season, and that also made the papers, as did the one, the display in uh, West Hampton Beach. This particular video is the uh, shorter version of my comprehensive 12 minute long introductory video, and I hope that you go on that and take a look at it because it really lays out the entire artistic adventure that I pursued over a, a 10 year period. Now. All of my videos were posted chronologically in real time as the venture unfolded. And if you go on my channel, as you are, and you go on videos, as you are, 
and then you click on oldest, you can see the entire venture as a series of postings from the very beginning. Okay. And um, I uh, hope you enjoy my YouTube videos.